Hello and welcome. I have another Monster Hydro opening that I've been putting off for a while. And let me just... Can I... Okay. <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit because... On the outer box there is my name. My name and others, which my name, by the way, is Ellie. If you're new, hi, I'm Ellie, Bulgarian doll collector. Uh, I love Monster High. I have a lot of Monster High uh, videos on the channel. And uh, yeah, this is Annabelle, as you probably know from the title of the video that you clicked, the. <laughs> And uh, yes, she's been here for a while. Uh, another doll that I ordered after uh, Frick du Chic Draculaura and came a lot before the, the Frick du Chic Draculaura, which she's still not here. So I don't know, maybe by the point that I hope that by the point that I upload this video, which is going to be like maybe next week or something like that she moves because she's stuck somewhere and she's not coming but anyways this is about annabelle i am not a fan of uh, the horror movie annabelle uh, or chucky or whatever i don't care about uh, these things but and also this doll to me reads a little bit like i don't know ever after high i didn't get uh, the Chucky and whatever the girl with Chucky was those because of that. But uh, this one I got because my boyfriend said that she's really pretty and I just needed a little bit of encouragement. And also the fact that she is uh, petite and also she slides like that. She has a very different box to the other uh, Monster Highs Collectors, which I don't know if you are in box Monster Highs Collector, how do you feel about the different box? I, I honestly like it because I think it works perfectly uh, with this doll. And uh, I'm already haunted because I opened, I removed the glass one time. You know, it's not glass, but it's plastic. And if you don't want to unbox the doll, you can simply do that and yes i'm already hunted <laughs> which is fine my favorite uh goo is spectra so <laughs> i don't mind being hunted yeah the box is nice it's better than i have uh dracula i have uh it flew out of my head the green goblin lady sorry she she's one of my favorites but i just cannot remember the name and i have elvira they all had the doors and i complained on their videos about the doors because i don't like the when the boxes have the doors because they throw shadow on them and this box is more like the hound couture boxes which uh if you don't want to um unbox the doll you can just leave her like that and she looks good enough and there is a part of me that wants me to leave her like that but also i don't have space for the entire box i have a neat little space that her neat little self will fit on my shelf so i want to put her there maybe years later down the line if i have more space i can put her uh back on the little chair that being said uh, let me take you in the box so you can see what's there on the walls so here we have some some interesting things. Oh, whose notebook is that? Can we can we read it? I can't on the camera, but no, I cannot tell whose the little composition book is, which usually these composition books are diaries. Uh Okay, and on this side, there are these things and just a chair. And yeah, it's the same things 
from the side. So from this side you see these things but just the chair without the box and from this side you see the yeah the, this is very smart and oh the back of the box I didn't notice it it's very nice it's you know she she's Annabelle is a toy and yeah she's a toy and she has the big uh, shadow and looking at the shadow, when are we going to get a Wednesday Adams doll? I will just die for a Wednesday Adams doll. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me see. I can pull the inner box. Oh, and there is a little light up there, you know, imitation of a light. Let me pull the inner box out. So this is how the back of the box looks. We have the stand here. I hate when they use the tape. Can't they figure out something else? The tape does damage to the boxes and I want my stand because I want to open her. I guess they decided if you want your stand you don't want to keep your box. You can have your stand and your box together I guess. That has to be like a doll thing. And I put here. So maybe I can push the stand. No, it's elasticated. Why do they elasticate the stand? Where is the stand going to go? Uh, okay, let's do some snipping action and when you pull this, her chair uh, disappears. It's it's a very smart cutout from the box. Well, I guess I flattened the box, but yes, this is how the box works. I find it interesting, so I decided to show you too. Let me see, can I put it back together to where it's usable? You know, the chair works without all of the stuff that it's holding her in there. Just, just look at that. <laughs> all right, if you are being very careful, you can unbox the doll decently and you can still keep the pretty box for display reasons later. Now, let me just deal with the Trick jinkers in the back of her head. Okay, let's see. Can I put you to sit on the chair? Mm, not really. Oh damn. The chair is too small. He's sliding <laughs> off of it. So I would have to improvise something with these two holes to hold her there. Well, I can put her like that and she's technically in there. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, let's get rid of the box. This is not a review of the box, it's a review of the doll. And uh, she comes, sorry the box fell, with this little chair that is like I wouldn't say is a bag accessory. Um, I guess it's referencing the chair that she's sitting on. Again, I haven't watched the movie, so I don't know if it's like a deeper reference. Her face is interesting. I don't know. Uh, the face mold. What face mold is that? Like, it's. I guess it's a new. 2020-22 but with these dolls they do something very smart they take an old face mount and just modify it a little bit until it fits the character which is fine I like it and do we have wonkiness mm, no I'd say it's a pretty good face she has a little blush some scratches I like the makeup the blue eyes the woody um, skin tone the dress is simple but it's pretty I like it I do like this little uh, thing it's not the most complicated or amazing dress but I think it does the job I do like that this is like a wax wax, wax sorry seal you know for a leather and she has a little Miss me? Can I focus on it? Note in her hand, which is really cute. I like it. Uh, 
Well, I guess it's supposed to be creepy because, yes, it's a scary movie. I love her shoes. There's something that kind of sold me on her. I don't know. Maybe it's silly for the shoes, but at the end of the day, she's a fashion doll. So maybe it's not that silly just because I like the fashions. I think it makes sense. And I love her little socks. They should make more dolls with socks and with stockings. And just using fabric, meshy fabric. I don't know. I love dolls with uh, meshy outfits. I don't know what it is about it, but I just like it. I am happy that I listened to my boyfriend and I got her. Again, I was going to be good and skip on her, but he was like, are you sure she's very cute? He he said she's pretty and stuff like that. And I was like, she's pretty, but I'm not a fan of the movie. And I don't know. But yeah, at the end, I, I have her. Maybe I just don't like if you remove the red on the dress and on her lips, the rest of her color skin. But with them, she looks she looks nice. And she's so tiny and cute. Which she's gonna look nice on my shelf, I think. Let's put her stand together. There we go. Um, They should have given us pearly white stand with shiny red base. And she would have been honestly perfect. And a uh, shorter pole because the pole is uh, she is falling because I'm on a soft truck, but yes, the pole is just it's too too long and it's pushing her head, so she has to look down a little bit. Which, yeah, and it's just too harsh being black. I don't know, her color scheme is uh, light and uh, pearly and stuff, also. The brace should have been translucent and uh, a bit wider because if you can see it's crinkling the dress and I'm afraid to adjust it because the dress is from something like organza. I don't know if that's exactly how you call the material but you know like the ribbons from the dollar store that you get to make stuff or I don't know is it like satin whatever it is it is very prone to fraying and I won't be removing her from the from the brace I will be removing her from the pole but not from the brace because I'm afraid that this brace is going to hurt her and I don't want that as we already said I really like the dress and can I push it like that yes I think that's it. And also, yeah, my cat also has some sort of opinion. Uh, I think I will put her on the shelf for the end of this video. I think it's gonna be nice. Uh, just one second. For her little chair, so I don't lose it, I'm gonna do... This is an elastic from the packaging. Can we focus on my hand? There we go. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put my two fingers here. And I will catch this, I will pull, and then I will thread it through this hand and through her head, like so. Oh, I forgot about the stand. <laughs> okay, okay, like so. And now through her hand. And this way, it, it's not going to fall off and I'm not going to lose it. This is what I'm going to do about that part. And there we go. This is her little spot on the shelf. I thought that I could put her in front of Dracula, but she covers her too much. So she's going to be between Cleo and Elvira because Elvira is tall. And yeah, I am happy that I added her to my collection. Um, it is true her colors aren't very monster high. But that being said, I like how this shelf is looking. 
with all those different colors and this is the laser pen of my cat so <laughs> I'm gonna have to play with her now because I touched it and it has a metally sound and she reacts to it because she knows the sound she's ready to <laughs> to play she's ready to play so let's play <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> I will uh, play with her off camera. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Do you like her? Did you get her? Uh, did you miss on her? The drop was not smooth. As always, I saw a lot of people saying, hey, I couldn't get the doll. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, every time it's like that. But, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and come back with you in there too for another video. I have a lot of other things planned, more unboxings, more crafty videos and stuff like that. So subscribe for that if you haven't. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. It means the world to me and it makes me very happy. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video and I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye for now.